love to see those young people shine. And CBS 2's Rachel Kim continues our team coverage live at the NFL Experience in downtown LA, where military service members and veterans were honored today. Rachel? Yeah, Pat and Jeff, the Super Bowl experience kicked off a couple of hours ago here at the convention center, and we can tell you people are pumped. There are, of course, plenty of Rams fans, but we also saw many others wearing jerseys of their favorite teams and players. But the biggest stars here today aren't football players. They are our nation's veterans and active service members. It's a football fan's playground. Welcome to the Super Bowl experience where you can test your quarterback and kicking skills. Go Rams! The LA Convention Center is full of diehard fans, wannabe pro players, and people who just want to celebrate the Super Bowl in Los Angeles. Niners are out, so we're from LA, we're going to root for the LA team. Since you live in LA, you got to cheer for the Rams. Because I'm on TV and you put me on the spot, I'm going to say yes, but <laughs> the Bears. <laughs> But there's no doubt whose house this is. I've been a Rams fan for life. Uh, my cousin on my sister's side of the family was Willie Ellison, number 33, wide receiver. Mark French isn't just a lifelong Rams fan. He's an Army veteran who is among many being honored here today as part of the NFL's Salute to Service Military Appreciation Day. Veterans, active duty service members, and their families get free admission, exclusive NFL merchandise, and a tremendous amount of gratitude for their service. If it wasn't for us, we wouldn't have a Super Bowl. Okay, We put our lives on the line. The moment we raise our right hand and say, I do solemnly swear, our life is on the line 24-7, whether we go to combat or we sit at the desk. You know, it's good, you know, that they honor the vets, you know, and know what the vets stand for. And the vets, you know, get out there and they, they do what they have to do, you know, to make this country a great country and keep us safe. This is a tough one for me because I'm voting for uh, the Rams uh, due to Orlando Pace uh, being from Sandusky, the state, the city I'm from. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, also, I'm from Ohio, so I have to root for Cincinnati too, so it's kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> And we definitely want to thank those who served and continue to serve. We want to let you know that this event runs until 10 p.m. today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Plenty of things to do and see here at the convention center. But everyone we spoke with said their favorite part of this experience was taking a picture with the Vince Lombardi trophy. So you got to do it if you come out here. Reporting live in downtown L.A., Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News. And so glad they got the chance to do that, Rachel. Thank you.